What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video and also welcome back to another Saturday. So the reason why I haven't vlogged up until now is because I have been like sick. Actually, when I was editing that last vlog that night, I started to get a sore throat and I was like, okay, maybe it's, you know, nothing, just dry throat. I didn't really know. But then I woke up that Sunday and I felt pretty bad. Like my sore throat was really bad at that point. So I ended up not going to church. Shelby brought the kids to church by herself and I stayed home. And that night, Sunday night, I couldn't hardly sleep because my throat was hurting so bad. Anyways, got through that night and the next day, sore throat all day Monday. And then uh, that night, Monday night, uh, I could sleep, but my sore throat was still there. And then woke up Tuesday, like my sore throat was pretty much gone, but then I started to have like a runny nose. I was really uh, congested. So felt absolutely horrible and I'm still congested to this day. So I'm not really sure what exactly I have or had. It might be uh, COVID, who knows, it might be a cold. I don't know, but I had a really bad sore throat, so I felt absolutely horrible. So that's the reason why I have not videoed. And I was planning on vlogging yesterday and I woke up and felt bad again. So then I didn't video. So today I feel a whole lot better. Just got my hair cut, thought it looked pretty good. Went to a new person today, I've never been to him before. And I think he did a really good job. So I think he will be my new barber and he's cheaper. So in my other videos, I talked about uh, my haircut costing $70 here in Austin. This guy cost me $40. So it's almost half the price. So I can go twice as much. <laughs> that is Shelby math here, wife math. So today's gonna be another arm day. So you guys are gonna have two arm days back to back, but it's nothing I'm gonna do about it. It was the only day that I could vlog uh, before uh, tomorrow, which I got to get a video up on Sunday because it does so well. So I'll be editing this video really quick, just like I did the last vlog. So about to take my pre-workout, you fork by muscle tech, one scoop. Today is not going to be a superset arm day. Last arm day was a superset where you do uh, tricep and biceps back to back. Uh, today I'm going to start off with, I believe triceps do like four exercises and then we'll swap over to biceps. That way I can lift a little bit heavier and it's switching it up and everything. So I'm trying to do a little bit different exercise than what I did in my last video, because of course I don't want the videos to be exactly the same. None of my workouts are ever exactly the same. I try to switch it up a little bit, either have less sets or more sets or switch up the exercises. I don't like to do, um, you know, the same workout every single week because a lot of people, they will do uh, the same workouts and stuff. I personally don't like that because to me, certain exercises feel better on certain days. So if I were to go over there and do like a barbell curl and it didn't feel good that day, then I'll only do, you know, like a set or two and then I'll move on to another exercise that feels a little bit better. Maybe dumbbells feel a little bit better that day. So that's how I like to work out personally. Now you can get on a strict plan if you have a coach and stuff like that. And if you're not someone that likes to design programs or you don't have a set program, because I know I have clients that like to have a set program. Every time they go to the gym, they know what they're doing. For me, I go off a of feel. One scoop going down. I really need this pre-workout today. So just to let you guys know, prep is going actually really well right now. Uh, I woke up this morning at 192 pounds. So that has been a low weigh in and that's been a consistent weigh in this whole entire week. So on plan to get super shredded for the Olympia, I think it's just in like, I don't know, 27 days, 26 days. So less than four weeks now. So it is grind time. So starting off this arm day with rope push downs, they're not really a rope. This is attached that they have at this gym. I really like it. You can grip it a little bit better, uh, like doing push downs or overhead. You can't do curls or anything with it, but if your gym has one, I'd recommend giving this a shot. So four sets of around 12 to 15 reps, already warmed up like three sets. This is the very first working set. So I really like to start off any tricep day with cable push downs because it will really help warm up my elbows because I have really bad tendonitis. Now, recently it hasn't been flaring up, so I wanna keep it that way. So before going into like any heavy, like school crushers or anything, I'll always start off with tricep push downs. Oh, by the way, I decided that I'm going to edit the workouts a little bit different either gonna be speeding up the set or I'm going to uh, just show you guys like a few reps of each set because I don't want the videos to like drag 
and I've been watching them back. And I think I don't want to do like the more Sam Sulek videos anymore where it's just like raw and you see like 30 to 40 second sets. I think it would flow a little bit better if I just like sped up the set or just showed you guys a few reps of each set. Because I mean, you guys get the gist of the workout and everything. If you see me do like, I don't know, five reps of something, you don't have to see all of like 12 to 15 reps. Oh, comment down below if you want to see the full raw video, like each set, or if you like this new style uh, video where, you know, it's a little bit sped up. So now moving into more of like the heavier lifts, we got school crushers. I got the 90 pound easy bar over here. So four sets of around, I don't know, 12 to 15 reps, might go down to 10 reps. Uh, so I think I'll be stopping at like the 110 pound easy bar. I just wanna do like a set here for 15 reps and then slowly go up as the sets go on. Now the last exercise I did with the rope pushdowns, I just did a single drop set on there. I'm not gonna do a drop set on here or anything, just do straight sets. So the last set was definitely too light. So now we're going up to the 110 pounds for the remaining of the sets. So it was also for 15 reps. So I'll be sticking with the same weight for 12 to 15 reps instead of going down to 10. If I were to go down to 10, I'd have to go open weight. And that feels really good on my elbows right now. So I just want to do a little bit more reps, time under tension instead of going like really heavy. So pretty much everything I said on that last exercise, disregard, because I ended up doing five sets of skull crushers because I wanted to do four sets with 110 pound easy bar. And on that last set, I was only able to get out 12 reps and I did a single drop set. So I went from the 110 pound easy bar and then immediately into 70 pounds. And I was able to get out like eight to nine more reps. Now over here, uh, to weighted dips. I already did one working set with a 45 pound plate. Now I have a 45 pound plate and a 25 pound plate on there. And I'm going for four sets of around 10 to 12 reps. That first set, I was able to get out 15 reps, but for the other three sets, I'm aiming for 10 to 12. <sighs> And more than likely on the last set, we do like a single drop set. So I'll just drop off the weight and then just do body weight. So I had planned that I was gonna do only four exercises for triceps, but I really wanna do straight bar cable pushdowns. Uh, so I'm gonna do five. So next, right now, we have overhead extensions with this uh, cable device here, uh, the thing that we used uh, earlier. You can just use a rope, but four sets of around 10 to 12 reps. So the main focus on here, you wanna set this cable up correctly where you're stretching all the way down and then going up, pulling that rope apart up at the top. Now, when you can't do that anymore, just keep your hands together and you're gonna be able to squeeze out a few more reps.
So moving into the last tricep movement, I promise. So it's gonna be wide grip cable push downs. Three sets of 10 to 12 reps. So I maxed out the cables here. So I'm just gonna go to complete failure. If that's 15 reps, then it's 15. But I'm thinking right now, it will only be like 12 reps. All right, so now moving on to biceps. We're gonna be starting off with more like a pump movement here. So the easy bar attachment to the cable, four sets of around 12 to 15 reps. So this is gonna be like perfect form going all the way down, going all the way up, not going super fast or anything. Now, the reason why I say it's more of a pump movement is because the cable apparatus isn't heavy enough for me to go to failure for like 10 to 12 reps. So this is gonna be more about just that time under tension. Kind of like what we did with starting off with the rope push downs and it's a good warm up. So now moving into incline dumbbell curls. Now the bench isn't exactly uh, the height that you would do like uh, incline bench press. It is one notch higher than that. So the point of it is you can't use momentum while you're curling and you get a full stretch on the bicep. So you go all the way down, stretch, and then curl up. So I'm doing four sets of around 12 to 15 reps with the 35 pound dumbbells. Now the reason why I'm using 35 pound dumbbells instead of like the normal 40 to 45 pounds that I get for like 10 to 12 reps is because I feel a slight strain in my bicep and my elbow from last week's workout. And I felt it when I was doing dumbbell hammer curls. For whatever reason, it just feels really tight. And then I used the massage gun on it, which was the dumbest thing because for days after that, it was like really hurting for me using the massage gun. So don't do that. Just put like heat on it or ice. Don't use a massage gun if you have elbow pain. Now, the reason why I'm out of breath right now is because I just got done doing the first set of these. It's not because I'm out of shape. So many people are like, man, this dude is out of shape. You try to do a set, drop sets, supersets and stuff and see if you're not out of breath after doing any muscle group. On to dumbbell spider curls. So last week I did a variation of a spider curl, but it was a high incline with an easy bar. Uh, this week I'm going with dumbbells. And the reason why I'm going with dumbbells here is because I'm gonna do both arms at the same time. And then when I hit failure, then I'm going to alternate so that I can squeeze out a few more reps. Uh, four sets of around 10 to 12 reps. <sighs> Now, 
switch into alternating. So I'm gonna start off like a hammer curl and then when I go up, bring my pinkies in to get that full contraction and go for another, I don't know, two to three reps on each arm. All right, so now moving on to the last bicep movement. It's gonna be machine preacher curls, five sets. And the only reason why I did five sets is because I already did four working sets and I need to record one. So around 12 to 15 reps. And then on this last set, the fifth set, I am gonna do a single drop set. Back home from the gym, and let me tell you, I am super far behind on all my calories because I only had one meal today, and right now it is 3.30. Uh, so I didn't take any protein powder with me for whatever reason, I don't know, I was being stupid and didn't bring anything. So now I'm about to have uh, my post-workout supplements. And today I'm having the Nitro Tech, the vanilla flavor. Now this is sold at Walmart now. So this is gonna be protein powder with creatine. So I'm gonna have right at a scoop and a half. So it's gonna give me that five grams of creatine a day that I normally have. So just about right there and over 40 grams of protein powder. So like I said, they are now selling this again at Walmart. They took it away for a little bit, but now it is back with a new design. So if you wanna check out uh, this product, you can also buy it online or any of the other muscle tech products. And if you go down to the description box, use that link and use my code ABLE, that will save you 15% on all muscle tech products. And the key to making this so good is having cold liquid in there. So I got a little bit of crushed ice in there because you know, when it's lukewarm water, it's okay. But having cold water, I'm telling you, it's a game changer. And I'm also gonna have a believable cereal so that I can get some fast absorbing carbs after that workout. Now I needed to do some cardio because I haven't done my cardio at all today. Normally I would do it like earlier on in the day, but I didn't get it done before my haircut. So I was gonna do it right after my workout, but at that point I haven't had anything to eat for like six hours. I normally eat like every like three hours. So I thought that it wouldn't be the smartest idea to do like a two hour arm workout and then go straight into cardio. So I'm gonna have this protein shape eat a little bit of cereal and then maybe in about i don't know 30 40 minutes do some cardio okay let's see what the cereal choice today is if you guys didn't know i am a huge cereal fanatic like i love cereal anytime i go to the grocery store i have to always check out the cereal out to see what's new uh today's gonna be i believe the twix loaded the cereal is incredible. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's a little bit higher in calories than most cereal. For one cup, it's 180 calories. Most cereal, it's about like, I don't know, 140 calories per serving, which is typically a cup. But this stuff is incredible if you've never tried it. So what I typically like to do is have like only half a serving of this particular cereal, and then I'll have a full serving of like Captain Crunch, regular Captain Crunch, because that is a little bit lower in calories and it's a little bit higher volume, even though it's not that much volume, it's just a little bit more. And right now when I'm on prep, more volume is key. Oh, and one other product that I take post-workout is the Peptide 185. So I took three capsules of that. Now, right now, when I'm on a cut, I'm not gonna be building muscle or anything, but I'm hoping that this is gonna help maintain my muscle mass while I cut. So that's the reason why I'm taking this. And that's everything I take post-workout is just a protein powder, creatine, Peptide 185, and then typically a bowl of cereal. Now, as the cut goes on, I will probably have to cut my bowl of cereal and just eat more like what you call healthier <laughs> healthier options because it's gonna be higher in volume so that I'm not so hungry. Because right now, 
I'm not all that hungry. Like I'm eating a good amount of calories where uh, throughout the day, I'm not ever like starving. When I was younger, I used to have to cut or didn't have to, but used to think I had to cut so hard that I would start my uh, deficit like way too early. Uh, now that I'm older and have done it for so long, and now that I know that I can keep my calories pretty relatively high and then just do my cardio and I lose body fat. Now I do think because I'm a little bit bigger now as far as like muscle that I burn more calories. So that's why I'm able to uh, consume more calories and stuff and feel good for longer. But of course, when the prep goes on, I will have to really start digging deep and then that's when it sucks. So how is the glam sesh coming? It looks really good. I don't have any makeup on. <laughs> I thought you'd have makeup on like crazy. So tonight, Shelby is going to a ball, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, like when you're an adult ball, right? Yeah. So it's a fundraiser. Okay, well, yeah, it's a charity event. It's a charity event, and they're going to have like a red carpet and everything. And Shelby's been preparing for this for like, what, two, three weeks now? I mean, I've been buying stuff that long. Yet, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the things they do to get ready, women, is crazy for like <laughs> nights like good. this. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, well, let's see. It's a little bit longer than the last time. <laughs> <laughs> because the last time I got it cut, it was like a little bit shorter, and Shelby never said anything about it. So she actually likes it when it's a little bit longer up on top. I don't top. dislike it the other way. I just It was like $40, it. too. So now really? I can get it double, you know? 40 instead of 70 So I could spend the same Even amount each month. <laughs> Even with tip? <laughs> yes, $40 with oh, tip that's and great. everything. So. That looks really good. Okay, well. But your barber's going to leave. Yeah. That's what always happens. I will get a barber, love him, and then like a week later, he will be completely gone. So Shelby's clearly like all... Clearly not ready. <laughs> <laughs> she, she brought a nice dress. She got even eye drops to make her eyes... That's a thing. ...wider. That's I've never thing. even heard of that. I didn't even think that was a thing. Yeah. But got them yesterday, and they like make the outside of your eyes like white. Uh, what else did you do? I mean, I bought a bunch of jewelry. I bought a new clutch. This is all my jewelry that I bought. I mean, not oh this. Oh my goodness! But like all that is jewelry that I bought. So I got to decide what I'm wearing and stuff. <laughs> yeah. So I got the kids tonight. She has to. Well, a car is coming to pick them up. Oof! Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so they leave at like what five fifteen? Yeah. And they won't be back until like 11. So we're going to have a movie night with the kids tonight. So when I found out they were going to have a red carpet, I really wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> He's jealous. Now. I didn't know they're going to have a red carpet all, at all. And then Shelby's like, you know, they have a red carpet. I was like, darn it. Why did I say I didn't want to go? I was going to go. But then, uh, long story short, the other guy... One of the other guys that was going to go, he's going to be out of town. He's one of our neighbors. So I didn't want to go with a bunch of women. So and it's now the be... last husband standing is stuck in Mexico because of the storm. So okay, so it would women. literally have been just me going with what, like six girls, six women? N nine. Wow. Okay, yeah. So lucky I, you. I, lucky me, I know, right? <laughs> Shall we just finish getting ready? And she looks beautiful. Thank you. I don't think she's gotten uh what this um dolled made up, up dolled up since our wedding probably not <laughs> <laughs> i don't even think you got that dolled up for our wedding <laughs> okay it's a different type of dolled up i'm going to a gala yeah yeah you look good thank you all right well you have fun bye so now it is dreaded cardio time so instead of going out in the garage and doing cardio like i normally do on the incline treadmill I'm going to use the elliptical today because the kids are in the movie room so I can watch them while I do this cardio. So I'm just going to do the typical amount of time, 35 to 45 minutes. Now it is going to be nice doing cardio in AC because this whole entire prep, I haven't done any cardio in AC. It's only been out in the garage. And today it is 95 degrees in Austin. Last week it was getting down to like 65 degrees to 70 degrees. And I was like, oh, this is great fall weather. No, it's gotten back to the normal Austin extremely hot weather. <sighs> All right, so I ended up only doing 35 minutes today because I feel bad for the kids. I want to play with them and I also need to get a shower. Plus it's six o'clock, so I need to start making dinner in about maybe 20 minutes or something. So that's all I can do right now. All right, so I feel so much better after taking a shower and now I'm cooking dinner. And let me tell you, dad is in the kitchen. So I am cooking up 
something real nice, homemade. Tostitos pizza for the kids. <laughs> and I'm gonna have burgers, even though I made burgers last night for the whole entire family. And my last vlog, I actually uh, made burgers. So I'm not gonna show you guys again. Just kidding, you guys know I can't go and not show you guys how good these burgers look. So I actually get two burgers tonight because I totally skipped lunch today, so I need to make up on calories. So I have one patty that is five ounces of beef, and the beef is 95.5. And then I have another burger with turkey meat on there and it's 93.7 fat. And then I have a little bit of fries. So what I have on the burgers is some grilled onions. I have one strip of turkey bacon that I split on both of these. And then uh, two pieces of fat-free cheddar cheese. And then I got my homemade burger sauce that I made in my last vlog. These look absolutely incredible. Both the kids, or both the kids, <laughs> all the kids are eating the pizza. Case and it loves these little Tostitos pizzas, right? You like them? So good. So we're gonna enjoy this dinner and then we have movie night. We're gonna be going upstairs and watching a movie, right? And popcorn. And popcorn, of course. They always want popcorn. So I'm gonna compare both of these burgers. So last night when I made burgers for the whole family, I used nothing but beef. And me and Shelby agreed that we think the turkey meat is a little bit better than actual uh, beef. So that's the beef one. That's really good. I think I seasoned them better tonight than I did yesterday. So sorry, Shelby, if you're watching this. That's really good. Okay. Now try the turkey patty. Okay, yeah. 100%, the turkey patty is better. Just juicier and has more flavor. So for the movie tonight, we're watching what, Kinley? Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. So Brady decided not to join us because he's downstairs playing Spider-Man because it is Saturday, so he's gonna play that. While Kinley, me, and Kason watch a movie and in about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, take them off to bed. Right now, it is bedtime, but I'm gonna let them stay up a little bit longer. So the kids are all in bed, now it's like 10.30, so I've been editing this video as quickly as possible, trying to get it done by tomorrow. I'm not sure if that's gonna be possible or not, so by the time you're watching this, you will know if I was able to get it up on Sunday or if it has to come up on Monday. I'm not sure because I've also had to edit an Instagram uh, workout. I got done with that and I'm maybe halfway done with uh, the video, so. I'm hoping that I get done with it. I think Shelby's about to be home in a little bit. I think their driver is supposed to pick them up at like 10, uh, 10 o'clock or something. So she should be home any minute, but we'll find out. So I'm gonna keep uh, the vlog going until she gets home and I'm gonna keep editing until she gets home. I might have to get up super early tomorrow before church, but I'm hoping to get done with most of it tonight so that I don't have to work on it a ton tomorrow. How was your first ball? <laughs> it was fun. Was it fun? Yes, it was. I know you're putting on some sweatpants now. Oh gosh, of course. <laughs> Gander's gonna blow all his boogers on you. Oh, God, let me, dude, hello. So Cinderella is upstairs telling me everything that went on, all the girl talk and everything. She said she had a lot of fun and she just got done telling me what she bought uh, because there they had like a big fundraiser for the charity and so she bought like what a mystery box yeah. and what was in that mystery box was a fine thing of whiskey <laughs> so a whiskey that neither one of us <laughs> drink whatsoever but it'll make a good gift i guess yeah. for someone and then we got some gift cards for some nice restaurants around here in Austin. We have no idea for how much or anything, but you know that's not the point because it is for charity. Uh, but it will make us go to the restaurants to actually try the restaurants out because that's mine and Shelby's like problem is trying new restaurants because uh, ever since we had kids, we don't go anywhere. Well, we go to Domino's, we go to Domino's, pick up pizza, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, but we don't go to fancy places because they don't have big enough plates for you. Very true. <laughs> never go anywhere Fancier anywhere. the place, the smaller the portions. Okay, maybe we're not gonna go try that restaurant. We One are, of the restaurants, it's $120 a person, 
and you go there for like two hours. So I would be it's walking, or, I'd be walking away from that place starving. Well, it will be downtown to get more food then. Uh, perfect. So I'll just leave that restaurant, and go straight into another one. <laughs> But I need to end the vlog tonight so that I can go here and finish this thing up hopefully by tonight So I don't have to work on it tomorrow morning. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video If you did give the video a thumbs up be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. All right guys. Peace Can you kiss me with these lips? Yeah, I know. Oh gosh, no, absolutely not. <laughs> All right, gotta send her off <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it is 1.45 in the morning. I just got done editing the video. Shelby's already in bed. So if you're watching this, the day it released on Sunday, this is the closest you're ever gonna get to me being almost live <laughs> because I worked my butt off trying to get this video done. So if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button. It'd mean a lot to me and I hope you all have a great Sunday.